<clears throat> there will be no negotiation. Snake Charmer. Okay. Well, it's been a while <clears throat> since I played this deck. The Doppler is good. I don't really want any of the Bunty Boys here. Round one. Summoning Circle is something we want to hold on to. Huh. I'm not sure how Aitne plays here. Do the Aitnes ever play differently? Wait, okay. This should be an 8. Start with the Doppler. <clears throat> We've lived in isolation for too bloody long. Well, Sigi Reuven is a can of a. Well, is he taking this seriously? It doesn't seem like he is. We can still play Sigi a little bit later. Also, we can play the Renegade Mage with that gold. What's the chance that he's not like some super uh, removal spammer Aitney uh, green girl here? Hey, what's up with her knees? They are all bruised. I'm only not paying attention to that. Okay, this guy is taking it pretty damn seriously. Let's pay the tribute. And hit the green woman over there. Hey, Sodo! Sorry for not really streaming too much lately. I don't really have uh, too many excuses for that. Oh, crap. Broccoli Sentinels. Um, let's just do Sigi, if we actually get the turn. <clears throat> Playing the alive and fun game, I see. Wait, it's, it's alive. But I did play a lot of Dota Underlords. It, it's a really good game, goddammit. I, sh I should make more content about that game, goddammit. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm a big boss for now in Dota Underlords. But I'm not a... Lord of the White Spire guy yet. I'm not sure if you play that, but... Blazing to the top rank. No worries, I hope your real life goes well. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north! Thanks. Okay, that's a lot of people. Okay, let's maybe do a Renegade Mage. I just killed the Dryad, but... Okay. So, it is possible that at this point, he's just gonna play a big tree. Probably not right now, but he's probably planning it. We can use this on uh, the Broculon or the Dryad Fledgling. It's fine. Of course, we are planning to use Coarse Blacksmith. More hand boost. Okay, let's do course blacksmith. And we're gonna use all the gold on everybody. Um, yeah, let's just use all the gold. That's fine by me. Now, at this point, he's kind of forced into a fight. I'm. Yeah, that's probably not a great idea. But who knows? Maybe we can force out the good card. We're in the lead by four. I might just play the bear on the dryad. For your power, uh, that's annoying. Huh? And I can't kill it. Uh, 
I'm going to spend some money. This guy is so damn annoying. <laughs> really? Feel any burning? See a local healer or wise one. Um. Great! Who wouldn't like a, a resilience that's also card advantage? Actually, resilience also uh, was a big problem. Even when we had spies, you could easily get card advantage with it. This guy is a reason control meta is so prevalent. <sighs> Maybe he's gonna play another card. Because you can counter resilience or device. Locks won't work and purify is very shitty. Yeah. So we just lost the card because he played the resilient guy. That not only gives him 5 strength now and 5 strength next turn. But also gives him a card. Despite losing the first round. Cool. Easy to forget about the eye. Um, cool. <clears throat> and trying to push him round two is just, of course, completely unrealistic. It never works. I I can't even. Well, it would cost me the hero power. No, we just lose. If if I push him, I just lose. Oh, Grant! I thought. You know, if Grant was a one round game, I think it would make more sense. <laughs> at times, this is what you see in Thronebreaker, that you know the games last one round, and there are so many ways to try to cheese. Well, not not too many ways, but like to try to cheese it, and you get more value, but. When it happens, it matters. It basically game deciding. The fact that he played the resilient guy cost me a card. Uh, well, we can kick the witch hunter. Also, we have a lot of ways to spend money now. But not a lot of money. That's not good. <laughs> this Graydon has 9 power, so we won't be able to play that. So we have to play one of these guys. Uh, I suppose we're gonna go with Tax Collector. I don't see how we're gonna win this. <clears throat> because you can counter, counter resilience, otherwise, locks won't work. Yeah, I, I already read that, God damn it! <laughs> I'm kinda desperate to read some text here. I, I understand why people are spamming damage, but it's still not fun, I think. Oh, look at that! <gasps> he has a neutral damage guy! Okay, we can bounty mark that for 5 gold. That's not bad. What's not fun about damage plus body? Um, I also really like these uh, artifact counters. <laughs> you know, if you have an artifact, you know, it says, you know, either you get 7 for 8, or if your opponent has an artifact, you win the game. Ah, oh, goddammit, I hate this card. <sighs> and this is on top of the card advantage. You're the cheesed out. Magic solves chaos.
They can hide, but there is no escape. This guard got made ridiculous. Oh, we got the ship too. Well, lock. Uh, we can go Nathaniel here. If he gets shut down, it's fine. Not great, but. Eh. Is there still a chance after losing a card? And, uh... Okay. I just bleed everybody. Is there a way to, like, chain this with shift? No. Control? No. So you can't chain this whatsoever. I definitely prefer this interaction, uh, by default. But, you know, I wouldn't mind the modifier key to make it... Make something else an option. We lost? Oh, looks like they're gonna bleed a little bit. Did they fix it? Did they fix the bleed? Yeah, we got a good bleed. It's gonna take some damage here. Maybe we kill Sorsa. What happened to Grant? Did they actually fix this? Or did I just get lucky? Oh. <gasps> no way! Does he have way to damage that? I wouldn't believe it. Oh, he wants my guy. I suppose this is not great. Yes. This is all I got. He's gonna take five more damage. And it's gonna be at 12. It's the Great Oak. With the big boost. But, all the cheese in the world could not take this victory from my hands. So rest in peace, Green Woman. And get out of here, you Snake Charmer. Um, okay, GG. Why would you go with the name Snake Charmer? I, I don't Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, usurper! <laughs> what a fun... Leader, because what's better than playing Gwent with hero powers? It's playing Gwent without hero powers, right? So much better. Let's, let's just do it. So much fun. So we have four ways to spend money. We don't need that many ways to spend money. Boris. And maybe we kick a Sea Jackal here. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, this is what we got. Admit, you picked Wholesome Junior for his nice butt on his art. Yeah, he's just having a lovely bath. You know what I would like? Uh, a Geralt leader. We can just like chill in the bath, you know, with all the wenches surrounding us. I would like that. You know. I'm not sure. Oh yeah. How would a Geralt deck look like? Holy shit, I kind of want to build a Geralt deck, but we don't have enough. So it would be a bunch of, uh... Who would be the leader of Geralt? I don't, I don't know. But we would have Geralt in the deck, plus... Plus, obviously... Oh, I really don't have the gold. They shut that down. Renegade Mage would be great here. Uh, but... Yeah, it's not gonna work. Let's just collect some money. This world only two things are certain. What? Huh? That the opponent's gonna play damage plus body? <clears throat> that would be my guess. <clears throat> oh, we can kill that. Huh? Make way! Move it! You die now! Okay, whatever. Let's boost the mage. <clears throat> so, the Usurper decks tend to be extremely boring. Actually, I probably shouldn't have played on the melee row. <gasps> Is he a Shoop Usurper? There's no way. So, what do we do now? I can pass. 
And if he pass, we're gonna go down to 20. And he's gonna go up by 1. But he would need to play a pretty impactful card here. As long as it's gonna be a long round 3, I'm kinda okay with that. Now, he would need to play a big whooper here. To have, have a chance. But he's not gonna do that. First words I hear on stream. Damage in body. Well, th this guy said that only two things are certain. Oh my god. The, the Peter was actually pretty good here. That's how you know it's an Adam's grand stream. Alright. Am I am I wrong though? <laughs> okay, well, well we don't really want the witch hunter, or at least two of them. We will need to have something here. Ransackers are a good throwaway. We will probably need something better here. This is tough. Okay, let's kick the Ransackers. It's possible that he's gonna push me. Oh, he's a sweet talker. To do business. Oh, Dodrick. That's interesting. So, how are we gonna react to that? I can establish a value generator. Most likely he has ways to shut it down later. So maybe I shouldn't take it super seriously. And this needs to be paid 5. So, we have a one big swing. I played the Bounty Man. And we can play a Witch Hunter before, okay. So now we play a Witch Hunter. Oh, the only problem with this is that currently we're not gonna have 5 gold. But that's still kinda okay. We can't play Imka now. I mean, um... Beansy. BNC Blummerholt. Is someone who like knows all the all the names of the cards even before it, they come out? I don't know. I'm I'm not as familiar with uh, with Witcher ro uh, lore. Okay, I might be able to spend some money if he had the money with Graydon. Okay, maybe we're gonna do Coarse Blacksmith. We do this for 8, then we can play Siggy, but then we go Graydon. If I could get some money. Like, if I could play Boris now, I probably should. But it's not really a good option. For peace of mind. <laughs> I'm just trying to go with the play that's gonna get me in the lead. <clears throat> In a convincing way, pretty soon. Because he seems to be using uh, impactful cards. Graydon is gonna be a 15 point swing. Oh, yes, her original name is. A Miss Imbagnome Burglar. Oh, that's nice. I think we still wanna play Graydon here. That's, by the way, a, a very well timed pass. <sighs> so we are not gonna pay the tribute. I don't think we need that. We have two ways to spend money, but not a lot of money. And also we don't have a way to play money on the same term as Beansy, so... Beansy is probably a kick here. Witch Hunter... Might be okay. 
Yeah, I, this deck looks pretty sad. So I don't think we got a mulligan here. But I will not have a lot of money in the first place. Okay, whatever. We keep this. Maybe Nathaniel is gonna be just the bait. You have some money left over from previous turn. My time wasted not. We can play Nathaniel. And he might get shut down. And I think that would be preferable uh, to Ritir, Elida getting shutting down. Getting shut down. Who's so we're gonna play Nathaniel. Game? Just as a bait. I'm not too interested in playing Horse Blacksmith with him. Playing Summoning Circle when Drill exists. Who is to die? Oh, nice. You got locked. The point of playing Nathaniel here was that he gets some kind of control in his face. Usurper doesn't really have an identity of itself. It's just like, hey, I just want you to not play your strategy. That's kind of the style. Okay, well... I'm not sure how we're gonna go about this. So we can ping this, and I could be able to finish it with morales. But I think we need to play a coarse blacksmith here. And, uh... Try to boost this up. So it doesn't die easily. But Philippa is gonna be in a tricky spot. Should I go to a... Yeah, I, I think hovering one gold is kinda fine. Just in case he has a Geralt. Of course, I'm just trying to make sure that my value generator sticks on the board. Ah, uh, we can also finish it up with Boris, so... There's that. That works too, so... Maybe we're gonna do this. We're gonna ping Ox. Then we're gonna Boris it. I'm not sure what Philippa is gonna find. Wow, that, that deck looks terrible. Oh no! Oh yes! And we can bunt your shoe. Or what is he gonna do? Is he gonna damage me? Good oh my god, top. really? Best, this, this. So if we could get some money that we cannot get, we're in trouble now. So if I bounty mark this, we're gonna have five gold. Also, I can get even more gold. We can, we can still shoot. So, this marks the ox. We hit it. We're gonna have six gold. Then we play Boris on this guy. We're gonna have nine gold. We still shoot. And this guy can be can use that one gold. I find the north so we're gonna place. bounty mark ox. I don't know... If you wanna hover the one gold right now, it probably would not matter, but I, I can use it, but who knows. There are ways that he can throw a, a wrench in my plans. Hopefully it's not gonna happen. I do like the summoning portal, but the, the fact that artifact removal exists on a level that it just break even to play it, I don't really get it. I don't I don't get that at all. Like I'm I'm just completely clueless about that. I, I don't I don't get that design. And anyone get gets that? Oh. That's a little annoying. 
that possibly made us lose one gold. Oh nice, actually this gets at the ship. So actually having that one gold was worth it. Uh, let's do Philippa. You do not deserve to live. We can we could have done that later. Ha! See Jacko comes out. What now, usurper? <clears throat> GG!